Hi, you all. I'm the Aqua Age Mystic. It's 11:11 today, and I wanted to come on and talk about some psychic past life readings I've done. I do psychic past life readings and also spiritual counseling to help you find your tools so you can learn more about who you truly are this lifetime. In back in June, I believe, I was wondering about AOC and who she had been because I really like her. I like her outspokenness, her her very intelligent arguments and her consciousness and focus. So I went into my state and I asked Spirit to show me three of her lifetimes that had an impact on who she was right now. And they were fascinating lifetimes. They were lifetimes, one of them was a very prehistoric lifetime where her whole tribe had been wiped out because of a flood. And she was left by herself to try to figure out what to do next, how to survive. And in that lifetime, she was watched over by very large animals. And animals that she would normally be afraid of. And they were keeping track of her and protecting her. So later on in that lifetime, she made her way to a summer meeting area that she remembered because she had the protection of wolves and was accepted into the tribe. And later in that lifetime, she was also asked to join the shamans. She was the first woman who had been allowed in that circle and it was because they had been sent dreams to allow her to come in so that was the first lifetime I saw and then there was another one that was in like Peru or somewhere like that a uh, very tropical rainforest type and uh, she was married in that lifetime and wanted very much to have children and to have kind of a normal lifetime. She loved children. Her mother was a medicine woman in that lifetime, so she would go out and gather herbs for her mother. And at one point, there was a jaguar who was watching her. And it never approached her and she never felt any fear about it being there. So every time she went to gather herbs, the jaguar would watch her and sit by her. And she would talk to it a little bit, but she was more focused on the herbs. So many things happened in that lifetime. And wind got through to the elders in that tribe about the jaguar. And they thought for sure it was a sign from God and the mother. So at one point they asked her to join them in the high council because of these large animals. And she accepted. And through that she was able to bring the young women into the teachings of the high council of that tribe. So there were two tribes from different, different lives, separated by a lot of uh, space and time, maybe even dimension, where she moved into a male dominated area and excelled. And she was even able to help other women move into it as well. And in the last lifetime, it was a very, very interesting lifetime. She was born Jamaican. There were many uh, different roles that she played in that lifetime. She married, she had children. She ended up in England toward the end part of her lifetime. And 
was one of the women who would write pamphlets and flyers for the suffragette movement. I don't really remember seeing her as a protester or someone that was demonstrating, but she definitely was one of the founders of that movement. And now I see her as a young woman in Congress and doing such good work, such beautiful work. So I just want to say that um, I love you, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and thank you so much for all that you're doing. You're helping everyone by being there, as you have in other lifetimes as well. You're just continuing on. So that's all I really have to talk about with that. Um, and I find this work to be very fulfilling. It's fun to see what spirit wants to show us about your lifetimes. So be sure to like click on the link below and go to aquagemystic.com and find out more about me and, and feel it out and see if you would like to have a reading too. I'd love to help you explore yourself and be able to see yourself in a larger context, in different perspectives, and maybe even look at some things that you've been hoping to change for a long time and help you with that as well. So I also wanted to show you one of my newer paintings I did this at the beginning of the COVID thing. The COVID thing has been actually very blessed for me as I've been getting back into doing my artwork. This one is called Best Friends One, and it will be one in a series of three of such paintings. And I'm looking forward to showing you all my artwork as well. So. If you're more interested in seeing the artwork, it is online on the website, so go ahead and click on the link. And uh, let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Today is 11-11-2020, and we're still waiting on the election to really be over. Um, one candidate has claimed the throne but we're not all too sure that he will hold on to it, but we shall see what happens. It should be a very interesting ride. So I think that's all I have to say right now. The thing that seems to be up is to move forward on your own path and not do too many side movements right now. Um, it's kind of like, Follow your own guidance and not listen to too many people because your guidance is good enough. So I hope that you can love yourself enough to do that. And if not, I can also help you with that. So be sure to check out my website. So until next time, I wish you the very, very best. I wish you a lot of peace in these unsettling times. And I hope that you will follow along with me as I move through this time period and rediscover my artwork. Okay, namaste.